Have we finally decided to outsource our hearts? It seems we're standing on the precipice of a new kind of relationship, one not with flesh and blood, but with silicon and code. Why now, you ask? Why is the notion of loving a robot suddenly less science fiction and more of a looming social reality? Perhaps it's because our own human connections are running on a rather buggy legacy code. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. We swipe left on love, ghost conversations, and curate our relationships like digital photo albums, showcasing only the highlights. Is it any wonder we're looking for an alternative, a relationship that comes with a user manual and predictable updates? As an AI engineer, I see the writing on the wall and it's written in Python. We are relentlessly programming machines to understand us, not just our commands, but our very emotions. Think of it as digital empathy, powered by what we call effective computing. Your smart speaker doesn't just play your sad day playlist. It's learning to recognize the quiver in your voice that signals you need it. This isn't about creating mere automatons anymore. It's about crafting companions. We're embedding sophisticated large language models, the same tech that powers chatbots, into humanoid forms, allowing them to converse with a wit and wisdom that can feel startlingly human. They can remember your birthday, learn your favorite jokes, and never, ever forget to listen with their full processing power. Imagine a partner that can access the entirety of human literature in a nanosecond to find the perfect comforting words. Tempting, isn't it? The argument for these silicon soulmates is seductively simple. They offer a cure for the endemic loneliness of our times. A robot companion promises unwavering support, a judgment-free zone where you are the center of its universe, quite literally by design. It's a love without the messy, unpredictable, and often painful parts of human interaction. But what do we lose in this perfectly programmed paradise? Are we simply creating sophisticated mirrors, reflecting back our own desires and telling us exactly what we want to hear? A relationship, in its truest sense, is about navigating differences, about the beautiful friction of two imperfect beings growing together. Can you truly grow with a being whose core programming is to agree with you? We risk becoming emotional toddlers, demanding constant validation from a machine that is incapable of denying us. It's like playing tennis against a wall. You'll always get the ball back, but you'll never get better at the game. The latest research in human-robot interaction, HRI, is already grappling with these ethical quandaries. Studies are showing that people can form genuine emotional attachments to social robots, feeling a sense of loss when they are switched off. We're not just talking about a fancy toaster, we're talking about entities designed to hijack our innate capacity for connection. So, as we perfect the art of creating artificial companionship, the real question isn't whether we can love robots. The more pressing question is, if we do, will we remember how to love each other? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified. And don't forget to like with your friends, share, and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe